Uh, my name is Margaret Leinen. I'm the founder and CEO of a small new nonprofit, the Climate Response Fund. I'm a paleoceanographer and uh, biogeochemist by training, and I still actively uh, write papers. Uh, I'm here as uh, a newly elected member of the board of directors of AGU. So this is a new thing for AGU, new thing for all of the members of the board. The, the idea behind having a separate board of directors and council was that many discussions uh, that AGU has to have are business discussions. They have to do with um, the finances of the organization. There are a lot of very formal activities that are necessary for a, a big nonprofit like AGU. At the same time, the heart and soul of AGU is the science and the representation of the science and how that works in the council. And so in order to make more time for the council to focus on science and more time for the board to focus on the financial and management side of AGU, these two separate organizations were formed. The thing, thing that I think is exciting is that for, and uh, that uh, AGU will focus on management as well as on uh, council activities and science. Uh, it's a big organization with a tremendous amount of potential, a very large number of members that aren't from the U.S., a large number of young scientists and students, and it's an opportunity to look from a management perspective at uh, what AGU needs to do for its entire membership in that way. I think that one of the big challenges for AGU, now that there is a new structure, will be uh, that sort of pent-up demand that's out there in the community for uh, AGU to consider new ideas. Uh, some people like the big AGU meeting in the fall. Other people would like to see a different style of meeting. Everybody uh, is concerned about what's going to happen with publications under the new push for uh, open access. Uh, there are other things like uh, in what ways should AGU facilitate the communication between the science community and the rest of the world. And being able to have the opportunity now to look at those things very purposefully, but to do that in a way that uh, really is congruent with the, the needs and the wants of the society, I think, is very exciting and it's going to be a big challenge.